I went to grad school at Johns Hopkins in international relations and then kind of did a pivot. I was working in internet startups in China for a while until I applied to a PhD program in statistics. Coming from an internet background, I wanted to do statistics, but I wanted to do it more with a kind of uh, computer science focus. I work on systems biology data, typically working with uh, networks of, uh, of relationships between biological entities. Now, here I am in QCRI in a place where you have people doing social computing, so working with Twitter data, working with Facebook data. Um, you have people doing machine learning. Lots of the methodologies they're using I can use as well, they, they apply to my problem. And so it's great to be able to go over to them and say, hey listen, um, this is the kind of problem I'm solving. How would you approach it? How would you go about solving it? Some of the problems I'm working on, they can certainly be applied to uh, preventative health, personalized medicine, big data, lots of the really important trends you see in, in the computing field and in the internet and in the health field, which are all converging. Um, I, I get to be right on top of all of that. Qatar Foundation and QCRI in particular, it's, it's very much like a startup in a sense, and, and a startup with a kind of national objective. You know. Now, I'm participating in that as a researcher in systems biology by working on uh, a project that involves diabetes um, and metabolomics. You know, you work on a lot of projects when you're a researcher, and to be able to work on one that you know is actually going to be taken seriously at a policy level, that's just um, that's something that nobody really expects, um, in, at least in, in my line of work. What surprises me about Doha was how much of a family-oriented city it was. My wife is here, and uh, she's been pushing me to uh, enjoy myself a little bit more. If you're working in research, especially if you're, uh, you're still a graduate student like I am, it can be a burden to your significant other. And Doha and, and uh, lots of my friends here at QCRI have reduced that burden significantly. We've been going down to Qatar, uh, taking in some shows, getting some dinner, uh, going over to the beach. Uh, this weekend we're going to be camping in, in the desert, just the two of us. There is a lot to do here.